This video will show a typical experiment using the 560 tissue puller system. We will show cleaning the aorta as well as running a typical experiment. Start by pinning out the aorta. You will need to remove all the excess tissue. To do this, you should only grab the excess tissue, never the aorta. Grab a section of the excess tissue and pull away from the aorta. Use your fine dissection scissors to cut away. Once you begin removing the excess tissue, you will have a better view of the aorta. Try to limit the amount of force you use when pulling on tissue connected to the aorta. For cleaning the small remaining bits, you may need to zoom in and increase your magnification. Once the aorta is cleaned of extra tissue, cut on both ends near the pins. You can place the isolated aorta on a small ruler to help you measure the length. We will cut today's tissue to two millimeters. Leave the aortic rings in a place that they will not get lost in the bath. The tissue is now ready to be mounted on the puller. After cleaning our segments, we will come to the puller. Raise the puller up so you have access to the tissue mounts. We also need to access the software. Every time you start the MyoPull software, you need to enter the polar position. So you will need to read the micrometer and enter your reading into the position. In this case, the reading is 28,060. Press set and continue. This will allow us to move the upper mount when we need to. We will start by putting the tissue on the upper mount You can either lock the plate in now or do it after the second one. Use the MyoPull software to lower the upper mount to a good position to mount the lower side. If you need to, you can lock the plate in a horizontal position to keep it out of your way. We now have the second side mounted. Now we need to fix both plates in the correct position and we can continue with the experiment. Now you should lower the mounts down into the buffer. We have our buffer warmed and being bubbled. We can now set our experimental parameters. You will need to set the target parameters before you start. You will do the target velocity in micrometers per second, as well as the pull range in micrometers. The target velocity can be between 1 and 130 micrometers per second. We will use 1,000. The pull range will be a maximum of 50,000. We will set this to 5,000. If you are interested in getting your stress strain curve, you should enter this information now. You can select which type of graph is being presented. We will do displacement force. We can now start the experiment. It will ask you, it will let you know that the current transducer is two Newton, which is correct, and we will say yes to start. You can stop the motor if you would like, but the experiment is done. It was going to 5,000, but you can see that the tissue ruptured after approximately 2,200 micrometers. The experiment is now concluded. The last thing to do is to clean the system. This process can be found on the cleaning and maintenance video on the DMT website. For more information on the 560 TP, please refer to the user manual or additional training videos on the DMT website.